Five seconds, four, three, two. So, 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 so. project about? My name is Toby, OG Soul, or Tobias. The project is, um, it's a James Brown sound uh, with raw, with live instruments, live musicians, and dancers. What is soul music to you? Boy, soul music is, is a feeling. Everyone has a soul. Back uh, when I was about 13 or 14, my mom would play Barbara Streisand, Ronnie Dyson, uh, Shirley Bassey, Nancy Wilson, Ray Charles, and I don't know what that I, you know what I was listening to, but I felt good when I would hear uh, Barbara Streisand sing "The Minute Waltz" or Nancy Wilson or something like that. And I so that's what soul music is to me. It's a feeling that you get. It doesn't matter what kind. It doesn't matter race. It doesn't matter what kind of music it is. But it's just a feeling that you identify with when you hear the music. It's a good feeling. <laughs> And what inspired you to do this? Well, James Brown sound. Uh, again, when I was 12 or 13 years old, I started playing drums with my drum teacher, who's on the on this track, uh, K. L. Johnson. I call him Rim, and uh, uh, he inspired me to, to uh, learn how to play the drums and feel what I was playing. And also, uh, KTLA Channel 5 News. Um, I wanted to do this for a while, but they kind of pushed it over uh, for me to do it, pushed it over the limit for me to do it. When I saw uh, Sam Rubin interviewing someone in, the, in their green room or whatever, and had a picture of James on the wall, I said, okay, I have to do this. So Sam Rubin, uh, Michaela, Jessica, uh, Mark Krisky, Eric, uh, Ginger, Wendy, this is for you, and happy 20th anniversary. Hopefully we can do something and celebrate. Awesome. Uh, where do you see this show being performed and what do you hope will come from James Brown 2012? Well, just I want to perform it everywhere, all over the world, so people can still have the balance of what's going on right now and also the feel of live music and live rhythms as well. And what do you hope will come from James Brown 2012? Well, um, just to keep James Brown's music alive, because I did tell him when I worked with him uh, on Blues Brothers and Dr. Detroit, this was on the set of Dr. Detroit. I said, James, you know, whatever I do, I'm going to make sure your music continues. And he was walking away and turned back and looked at me and said, what? I said, I want to make sure that your music continues on and on in, in, through my life. And he said, well, whatever you do, make sure you do it good. I said, okay, you got that. We need the help, but we won't. Uh, 